All right, welcome back everyone to Holy Roller Guitars and another episode of Tech Specs. Today we have this Epiphone Standard 50s in Heritage Sunburst, and you can already see the flame acting on this side. Uh, depending on where you get it in the light, you can see the flame through the red here. It looks a lot better outside. Here is the top, so very flamey. I call this one, there's two nicknames for this one. It's Iron Man, because um, I got it when my wife was battling uh, kidney cancer, and this is when we found out and everything. So call it Iron Man, and then I also call it uh, Tiger Strike, because there's like a, a line here, like if a tiger scratched it down here. So that's pretty cool. And then uh, you can see the active flame on this side. On camera, uh, each side of the guitar will act differently. Let me take you up the fretboard and the headstock. Let's get the uh, string height on the 17 fret here for you. And let's get the pickup heights because I don't want to bore y'all with the uh, video time lapse of that. So on your 17 fret here, on your low side you have 764 on your high side we have 564 on the neck pickup we are going to have 664 on the low end and on the high side 564 and it's the same for the bridge if y'all heard that demo yesterday that's what it is it's going to be uh, 664 on the low side and 564 on the high side we are going to remove the strings now I'm going to get the tail piece and move it away over there from the fretboard so we can get your nut width and your 12th fret width here and then the first fret neck depth because in the last video we did the second fret neck depth and I should really be doing the first fret so we'll get your first fret neck depth and your 12th fret and then we'll get the contour of the neck so y'all can see that I think I said we're going to look at the pickups so they are Seymour Duncan 59 pickups get a look at that and then we'll um, put back the strings and we'll get a look at the uh, control cavity. So let's get started. All right, just, uh, you know me, safety, preaching safety. Please wear safety glasses when uh, removing the strings in the guitar. And uh, I actually wear darker ones because my eyes are sensitive to the light. So please wear safety glasses when doing any kind of work to your guitar. And uh, if you're doing something um, like cleaning your frets, wear some gloves. It'll keep your hands clean and away from all that grime and stuff that's on the frets. So, all right, let's get started. All right, so just wanted to get y'all a view of the Epiphone bridge there. And then the pickups are Seymour Duncan SH1N and then SH1B. And then here is the neck pocket or the, yeah, the pickup. Uh, cavity here with a long neck tenant and then you can see the color in, in there how they did that and then there, there's really nothing to see because of the sticker but um but yeah just wanted to show you all that and then the flame underneath i think it looks and um, it looks really nice right here where the strings were covered up with the orange um looking here and then how they align the the center with the maple Looks really cool. I really like this how it looks a little bit darker. Alright, starting off at your bridge position, we have 8.119. Going to your neck position, we have 7.40. And then in your middle position, we have 3.88 or 89. And again, I just wanted to ask y'all if y'all would like to see the Zebra pickups and the 50s Les Paul. Uh, I think it'll look pretty cool. It'll look, it'll give it a throwback to my father-in-law's classic Les Paul that he had. He also had Zebra pickups. This one is backwards, the neck pickup. And I shared that in the video with the 59 Epiphone. So I've, I wanted to try a guitar. I don't know if it'll work because I haven't tried this before. But I wanted to try flipping the pickup to where the uh, Poe pieces are in the back and see how that works. So maybe I can even do that. Let me know. They are uh, Seymour Duncans and they are the, if y'all can see that, let me SH1N for the neck, if y'all can see that. Uh, so this is the SH1B. So 
They are the exact same pickups, it's just uh, these have covers on them and these don't. These are zebra pickups and I'm not sure, these are probably double blacks underneath here. Right, so I just wanted to check the specs on the zebra pickups. 7.75 and the bridge pickup, and I'll go 7.95. So I want to check the specs on the covered ones compared to the uncovered Let's get ones. the nut width at the first fret. So you have 1.706 at the 12th fret. So 2.107. First fret neck depth is 0.919. And at the 12th fret it's 1.013. And here is your contour. Uh, the left one is the first fret and the right one is the 12th fret. And you can see here how uh, it's uh, C-shaped and and the hand feels feels nice but just feels a little bit too chunky for me. And with the gloss too, yeah I know you can get used to it but I would you know prefer it like uh, how fenders have it where you know the body's gloss and then it's like a semi-gloss. I don't know if they can do something like that, do like a more semi-gloss to the back of the neck. Overall, it's an awesome, awesome guitar. What I'm going to do is probably for Sunday, I'm going to do the F1 oil and the fret polishing on this guitar um, because I do want to polish these frets. So yeah, let's go ahead and take a look at the control cavity and the three-way toggle switch. And I think that'll be all. I guess I can get a, a uh, body depth to see if I ever can borrow a Gibson. My, one of my friends has a Gibson. Uh, if I can borrow his 50s uh, Gibson, if we can check the uh, the body depth. I guess we can just do it from here by the toggle switch and here at the body and see what the differences are. So let's go ahead and do All that. Right, so here are the geeky specs of, uh, of guitars. So here by the three-way toggle switch we have 1.948 where you're going to have your elbow is going to be 1.9475, very close to the first measurement. So, there are your specs for the body. Alright, so here is a video of the back of the guitar. Very nice and clean compared to yesterday's. Uh, you can tell they put a veneer on top of here. It's very nice. Here's the three-piece neck. Oops, there's uh, one piece there. Your mahogany neck here, and then another splice here. That was here when I, or that was there when I got the guitar. Here are the Epiphone tuners, and then your top of your headstock right there. So, um, just wanted to give you all that view, and then you can tell here where they put the um, veneer on top. You can tell where they put it on there. Yeah, see if I can get you a side view. What's going on there? I guess I missed a spot right there by the neck. So yeah, I'll figure out how to make these shots a little bit better. But yeah, just wanted to get you an overview of that. So here are the electronics. And this is where I'm saying that they spliced the, so these are actually the pickups, the black wires, and then they actually spliced the ground and the hot. So the ground is here going to the back of the pot, and then they um, attach there. I don't want to take off this tape here until I'm ready to either switch out the pickups, which I might with the zebra ones. And then here's the one for the bridge. Um, so of course the black one is a pickup. And then they spliced in the ground here. Oh, this is actually the neck pickup, sorry. Um, they grounded in the, the, the ground there is the air wire and the green wire. And then the hot is actually black, so it's backwards of, uh, of what you would think. But um, here's the electronic cavity again. Here are your tone pots. There's your... Capacitors, 
and then this is your quick disconnect for your uh, three-way toggle switch and then um, yeah so actually I'm a little wrong here um, these pickups actually don't have quick disconnects the quick disconnect is only for the uh, three-way toggle switch so that's pretty cool I didn't uh, I guess I didn't notice that before put everything back in there and then uh, close it back up so now we're gonna show you the three-way toggle switch Okay, and here's just a little video of the three-way toggle switch and the uh, screws are, you know, pretty much aligned. The top one's a little close, looks very nice. So right here you can tell the difference between the uh, mahogany and then the veneer that they put on top of there. How the grain's a little bit different. Yep. So if y'all want to see the before and after of the... Uh, fret polishing kit and the F1 oil to this Epiphone 50s. Tune in on Sunday. I'll drop that video. Y'all have a blessed day. Take care. God bless. Um, today's uh, daily advice is I guess seeing the light. You see this? Seeing the light and the darkness. Compared to being in the dark. I want you to see the light in whatever situation you are in, in life. Right now, um, as I said uh, in the last video uh, about my grandmother uh, being ill, being in the hospital, please keep her in y'all's prayers. But, you know, it's amazing that we have her in our lives. Um, she's in her 80s. You know, we just thank God for her life every day. Wherever you're at in life, please see the lightness in the dark. And take care of yourselves. God bless. Peace.